So what we're going to show you today is how to change a pool light. Uh, ours burned out the other night and uh, I got the new one in and it's actually, you know, of course it's going to be an LED. So we're going to change the light out and I'll show you how simple this is. There's one screw that holds it in and it's uh, uh, it's about the one o'clock position. Uh, they're usually at the top there and somewhere around the top. Alright, so here I'm going to show you that real quick. do is turn off the circuit breaker which is over here pool light right there turn it off all right so I'm having problems with this screw um, looks like he-man put this in here or uh, could be that's been in there for 11 years um, but I'm making progress need some leverage and I couldn't get it so I put a lawn chair in here I'm standing on a lawn chair uh, so and I'm also I can't get a grip on my screwdriver so I'm using uh, channel locks to uh, get the screw uh, get some leverage on the screwdriver all right now we got it uh, now it's coming easier so getting that initial uh, break breaking it all right now it's getting easier This is actually a number one bit, which surprised me. I thought it would be the number two. Uh, so number two Phillips, or number one Phillips is what you need. And a lawn chair. You don't have to have a lawn chair, but it helps. Okay. So now it's loose. Uh, Of course it floats. Okay, so this is what we have now. There's a ring around this. Uh, that's where the seal it keeps the water out, obviously. Uh, you got a common screwdriver there, or a, I don't know what's that like a five sixteenth nut you could use. I mean, you try a screwdriver first since I have that available. Still standing on my chair. Carefully pry that off and then it comes out like that. Be very careful, you don't want to break the lens. Okay, so here I am, I'm back. Out. This one in. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now we're gonna go turn now we're gonna go turn the circuit breaker on and test the light. Okay, light test good. Um, one thing I want to mention is that when you buy your light, make sure you get the right one. Um, I thought it would be like any other light, 120 volt, and mine actually turned out to be a 12 volt light. So make sure you get the right light. Very important. Okay, I'm back. Um, finally got the ring on. Uh, it looks good. Um, I think it's sealed. Now before, um, I turned the circuit breaker back off again. 
um, after we tested it and it was good, right? So now we got we got tested for a leak, right? And what we're gonna do since the circuit breaker is off, make sure that's off. It's, that's very important. We're gonna put this in the water. looking for air bubbles not those ones that just came up that was just from underneath the when I tipped it over there um, so now we're looking for air bubbles just to make sure okay um, I don't know if I mentioned this I'm standing on a chair because I need the leverage uh, you don't need a chair like this but it helps okay so the air leak check is good okay I'm back uh, just want to show you one last thing. Uh, so that's the clip right there that clips onto the bottom. Uh, just kind of hooks on the bottom. And then you just tilt it back up until the screw meets the connection there in the threads. And then you start screwing it together. This actually holds the bottom part in the hole. All right. So that actually clips down here. Okay, now the light's mounted. Just to clarify, there's a clip on the bottom. You, you slide it in this way, and then you just, when you screw, when you bring the screw in, it closes the gap at the top so that it holds everything in there in place. All right, so it's in. We tested it for, uh, make sure it didn't leak before we put power back on. And now that's in and on. Again, I used another LED, so uh, this was a, a 300 watt bulb, and now it's a, a 50 watt bulb. Okay, and here's what the new light looks like at night. <laughs> Holy moly, yeah, LED lights are very, very bright. That is one bright light. It's like daylight in there, that is amazing. You see all the ripples in the bottom of the plaster.